I don't I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> Glastonbury Festival, levels of illegal drugs high enough to harm wildlife found in river running through the site. Now that's that's obviously an absolutely terrible thing. We, we should not damage the wildlife. We need to protect the ecosystem because if the ecosystem goes, so do we. Um, but <laughs> during the festival, levels of MDMA and cocaine in the water were so high they could affect the life cycles of certain protected species of wildlife further downstream. Researchers have discovered just rivers, rivers of cocaine, <laughs> like at, at this music festival. Well, it is. Look, it's Glastonbury. It's Glastonbury. And before even going into the article, and I think one way I think is no, nobody is throwing their drugs in the river. Nobody, nobody is doing that. I think what's happening is people are taking the drugs and then pissing into the river, and that's what's causing it. So let's let's see if we go into the article. Let's let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm correct. I'm also getting, I'm also getting, I'm also getting this image in my head of like crayfish and salmon and frogs like so some frog except its pupils are even bigger i'm fucking rattling mate man my jaw is just absolutely swinging mate that's fucking that's that's what i can imagine just this wee crayfish fucking rattling man talking talking to his wee pal the salmon about how that you know you know there's no gold behind our currency anymore right you know there, you know there's no gold behind the currency man and fucking area 51 they fucking know about aliens and all that i fucking love you mate <laughs> Levels of illegal drugs high enough to harm wildlife have been found in the river running through the site of the Glastonbury Festival. During the festival, levels of MDMA and cocaine in the water were so high they could affect rare populations of eels further downstream, researchers discovered. They have urged travellers to use the official toilet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I was right. Uh, provided by organisers as it is thought the drugs can enter nearby riv rivers as a result of public urination. Yes. Party goers are pissing in the river and getting the salmon and eels absolutely fucking fleeing. Uh, Dana Berg, a master's student at the School of Natural Sciences at Bangor University and, University and Dr. Daniel Chaplin from the Centre of Environmental Biotechnology, measured levels of illicit drugs before, during and after the Glastonbury Festival in 2019 when it was last held. Samples were taken from the White Lake River, both upstream and downstream of the site of the festival. The researchers found MDMA concentrations quadrupled the week after the festival, suggesting a long-term release of drugs from the site. Um, it's probably, that's how fucking rivers work, rain falls and it feeds through the ground into the river and it usually draws nutrients and minerals and everything out of the ground, which is why you get so much vegetation next to rivers, because uh, it's very, very good for the plants, except the plants are all fucking their, their jaws swinging they're able to fucking they're able to scratch their eyebrow with their bottom teeth <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't funny this isn't funny right fam it's just, it's just a thought of just like we animals are absolutely fleeing man fucking snow white going through the fucking forest singing our wee song and this wee bunny rabbit comes up to her going like ah you go in your cat hen This isn't funny. This isn't funny. Uh, they also discovered that concentrations of cocaine le uh, rose to levels known to affect the life cycle of European eels, uh, which are a protected species. Uh, Mr. Berg said, by the way, that see when you're fishing, I fucking hate eels. I hate them. They get tangled around your line and they're the one thing that you just don't want to fucking catch. Uh, Mr. Arberg said, illicit drug contamination from public urination happens at every music festival. Well, it's... it's it's a music festival. Uh, the level of release is unknown, but festivals undoubtedly are an annual source of illicit drug release. I, I don't need to have a degree in like any sort of uh, environmental science or anything like that. But see if like a random river is uh, suddenly full of cocaine and MDMA, I would I'd, you know I would go. Maybe it's the music festival <laughs> that happens that happens here every year. I think that may have. I don't know. I don't know the connection, but there, there, there seems to be a strong connection between music festivals and drugs. Have you noticed this? This is something I've noticed. You see, I'm 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 an observant person. I'm very smart. I'm extremely intelligent, and I've I've came to the conclusion. I'm a I'm a veritable uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, shall we say? And I I believe that uh, the the music festivals happening next to these rivers is why why there are so much drugs in the rivers. 
I believe so. I believe. I'm no scientist. Uh, he added, unfortunately, Glastonbury Festival's close proximity to a river results in any drugs released by festival attendees having little time to degrade in the soil before entering the fragile freshwater ecosystem. The researchers suggested that studies should be conducted into possible treatment via environmentally friendly methods, such as constructed treatment wetlands. That's, I agree with that. No, it's like, what's... Well, so one one of the things that I am happy about my taxes uh, being used towards is preservation of the ecosystem and environments, especially for bees, especially for bees, because if the bees go, we are fucked. No one really understands this, right? But bees are in decline, and they they are like the biggest pollinators, like by far. If the bee, if the bees go, then then seriously we are in trouble. So stuff like that, yes, I'm 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 fine with taxes being used for that. Uh, Dr. Christian Dunn from Bangor University said our main concern is the environmental impact. This study identifies that drugs are being released at levels high enough to disrupt the life cycle of the European eel, potentially derailing conservation efforts to protect this endangered species. Education is essential for environmental issues, just as people have been made aware of the problems of plastic pollution and Glastonbury have made great efforts to become plastic free. We also need to raise awareness around drug and pharmaceutical waste as a hidden, worrying, uh, worryingly understudied yet potentially devastating pollutant. That is, yeah. Like, one thing that fucking happens as well is uh, there is a... I forget the name of it. There is a river that runs along the Mexican-American border that a lot of drug runners use. And one thing that they do a lot of the time whenever they get caught by border patrol is they just start panicking and dumping all their coke in the river. And it fucking annihilates everything in the river. Like, absolute destruction of the ecosystem because they're dumping, like, kilos and kilos and kilos of cocaine into the river so that they can make their boat lighter and escape. Uh, a spokesman for the Glastonbury Festival said, protecting our local streams and wildlife is of paramount importance to us at Glastonbury Festival, and we have a thorough and successful waterway sampling regime in place during each festival, as agreed with the Environment Agency. There were no concerns raised by the Environment Agency following Glastonbury 2019. We are aware that the biggest threat to our waterways and the wildlife for which, wildlife for which they provide a the habitat comes from festival goers urinating on the land. This is something we have worked hard to reduce in recent years, though a number of campaigns with measurable success. Peeing on the land is something we will continue to strongly discourage at future festivals. We also do not condone the use of illegal drugs at class. There's a, come on, mate. It's why people go, man. It's, it's why people go to Glastonbury. Uh, we are keen to see full details of this new research and I would be very happy to work with the researchers to understand their results and recommendations. And yeah, as someone who has been to uh, Tea in the Park a great number of times, a lot of people just simply don't want to use uh, the portal and public urinals because they are fucking disgusting. They are fucking disgusting. And it, they're so bad that it, I'm not... I am. Have you seen those seats? I'm, I'm not putting my sweet cheeks upon them. Not a chance. They're covered in smeared shit, piss, vomit, and all the other things you would expect at a music festival. So I, I understand why people are like, especially girls, they're like, I'm not I'm not sitting down on that. I, I get it. I completely understand. Um, one thing that I used to do at Tea in the Park, um, <laughs> this is quite a funny one, uh, is I bring, used to bring a roll of bin bags with me. And whenever I needed to shit, I would go inside my tent just zip up my tent so nobody could see it and I would just sort of put it underneath me you know like I was flossing with a towel and I, I would just I would just shit in the bin bag I would just I would just shit in the bin bag <laughs> and then I would uh, wipe wipe my ass, put put that in the bin bag put it in tie a knot and then come outside of my tent <laughs> swinging it like a fucking flail all my friends are fucking panicking because they think I'm going to belt one of them in the head with a bag of shit. But what instead I would do is, even though I was in the middle of the tents, I would just, you know, just fly it, fly it away. You know, like 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 the hammer throw. <laughs> just just hammer throwing a bag of shit just right across tea in the park. Tea in the park, way pee in the dark. Um, that's what I used to do. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but... It's not something I would do anymore now that I understand the harm that that would cause to the environment. And uh, my, my shit, I can assure you, 
as uh, destructive to the environment. 